Welcome back to Paul's Aquariums. This is Paul's Aquariums. I am Paul. These are aquariums somewhere. We are unboxing five lots of fish, some really, really cool fish. There are seahorses. I know, seahorses. We don't actually sell marine fish at the moment. We did years and years ago, like 10, 15 years ago. We'll get back into it. These are going into quarantine, like the lionfish. There's the lionfish there. They are going really, really well. So about a month or so, I'll have a tank set up in the shop so you can come and watch the lionfish do their liony fish things. And the seahorses do their seahorse things. Obviously not together because one will end up eating the other. But let's have a look at what we have got. First bag. Oh look, we have goldfish. So we have black moors, we have fantails, looks like calico fans. Bit of a mixture, so black moors and fantails. I think there's a couple of bags of those. Yes, there's another bag there. I'm not going to bother opening for you. Opening, showing, because otherwise we're repetitive. Maybe it will be repetitive a little bit later. That is a weird bag. Okay, no water in there, but they are land hermit crabs. Not that you can really see them in the bag. So we will get them out of this bag and pop them in their terrarium. If you want to know more about keeping these guys, they are pretty awesome little things. They come from far north Darwin. I was going to say Queensland, but it's not Queensland, it's far north Darwin, the Northern Territory. High humidity, high temperature, they need the humidity to be able to breathe oxygen, yada yada yada. If you want to know more, comment down below or come in and see us, come in and see us, come in and see us. There you go, that's another bag. Oh, look at them. They're pretty cool. So these are a type of loach, which is like a catfish. Not an eel, not a snake. They look like an eely snake. Stay small. These are coolie loaches, which is just a little wiggly, peaceful, tropical fish. Very, very cool fish. So they like to be kept in groups. So you want three, if six or more. If you've only got one or two, you're not really gonna notice them because they'll be hiding all the time. So the more you have of those, the more you're gonna see in your tank. Just an all round awesome fish. We have cardinal tetras. So more cardinals in stock for the people after cardinals. Ooh, another cool tetra. We finally have green neon tetras back in stock. So green, so green, green neon tetra. Why does it say greeny? Greeny tetras, whatever a green is. Green neon tetras are a different species. Very subtle color, totally different than a normal neon tetra. If you look at them in a tank, they've got a green sheen to them, hence the name green neon tetra. I know, they look really nice in planted tanks, a little bit smaller than a neon, not as big as a cardinal. Another cool tetra. That looks like box number one. We're going to go to box number two. Box number two, just like that. Oh, would you like to see some seahorses? Because we have some very cool seahorses. Okay, they don't look cool in the bag. They look like a black lump. <laughs> but that, oh look, they, they won't swim in a bag. They are very delicate things. They kind of just sit there and want their little tail coiled around something, which I'm surprised they didn't pack them with something like a little bit of something for them to wrap their tail around, like a little bit of plastic or something. Yeah, plastic is a great thing, isn't it? But that is a Kuda seahorse. So they are a tropical saltwater seahorse because there are no freshwater seahorse that was to be called a lake horse or a river horse so i think we have four of these little guys they are not currently available we might end up selling seahorses but they are quite specialized we've sold them before in the past these are more going to just be for a little tropical saltwater display very hard to see in the bag but you can see them in in the screen you can see the seahorses in the screen <laughs> oh, oh, oh and cut seahorses so finally seahorses something exciting not that the other fish aren't exciting but you know what i mean oh, there's a trophius hey these are tanganican fish i think there's a whole heap of these little guys they are bember reds bember red trophius means brown with a bit of red uh trophius are herbivorous fish 
from a high pH lake in Africa. Just starting to get a little bit of color on that. Very, very hard to get them on film. So if you see them on the screen and they're darting around and hiding behind a rock, they're probably not, but that is why. So they will totally change color as they get bigger. Get around that sort of 10, 12 centimeter size. Don't mix them with high protein eaters because they just do not cope. Totally different fish again. They are lizard fish or red lizard fish. Look at them. They kind of look like a lizard. Not really. <laughs> More fish than lizard. Probably should call them red fish. But they're not really red, are they? No. <laughs> uh, if you squint, they're a lizard and they're red, I suppose. So whoever names them probably squints. Very cool fish. They are a type of loach. They rummage around the bottom. They do like a lot of oxygen in their water. So a lot of circulation. They'll eat meaty foods like frozen brine shrimp, blood worms. Hard to get them on pallets, but some of them will go straight to pallets, but more meaty foods and stuff. But we have a limited amount of those available if you would some, some <coughs> if you would like something cool for your tank. That is box number two. Let's go to box number three. Three, three. Box number three. Oh, there's a lot of things in box number three. Uh, let's go with this bag first. Neon Tetris. So more Neon Tetris back in stock. Like a green Neon Tetra, but not green. <laughs> I'm sure you are waiting for that. There should be a couple of bags of those somewhere in there. There are Harlequin Raspora, uh, decent size again. Really, really nice fish. These are Southeast Asian. They are like a Tetra, same water quality, but from the other side of the world. Really, really pretty little fish. So lovely schooling, peaceful community fish. So they are back in stock as well. How nice are they? And I think there's a couple of bags of those. Let me just stick that in front of my face. There are. So these are red and white swords. I think they call them Santa swords or They've got another fancy name to them. Very, very cool. Yes, like a normal sword tail, but a different color pattern. That's pretty much it with those guys. There is another trophy. There are more neons. What is that? That is something different. Oh, we have female Dumbo Air Better Fish. Oh, they're pretty. So lots of female Dumbo Air Betters. And what have we got in there? What are they? Oh, they're my fish. There you go. That's the glimpse you're getting. You can guess what they are in the comments. My fish. I should just go home now. No, I still have to unbox fish. So, yep. Oh, a few more fantails. More fantails. <laughs> See, don't worry about my fish. These are fantails. Blackmores. Calico fans, some red and white fans, lovely. They will get decent size, so all goldfish kind of get really big. Rugby ball with fins. That is box number three. We're going to box number four. And lo and behold, I'm unboxing and we get local bred blue Neo Caradina shrimp. Awesome little guys, super peaceful, super blue. These are line bred of your normal ones if you could say normal. Normal brown ones, which have been bred into red ones and every other color, and now they have blue ones. Very cool little blue shrimp. Most fish will eat these, so it's recommended just a tank for shrimp on its own, but we have more Neo Caradina shrimp back in stock. Back to the video. And it's box number five, just like that. <sighs> We're so high tech, I tell ya. <laughs> oh, they are cool, look at them. So those are Malaysian half beaks. Very, very nice little fish. So they are live bearers, like a guppy and a platy and a molly, which means they have live babies. They look like a little tiny stick floating on the surface. So these are the gold or the silver variety, depending on which way you look at them. I think they call them gold, but they're technically silver. Why don't they call them silver? They're silver, not gold. <laughs> Maybe if the light hits them in the right way and had one too many wines, then they would look gold. But they're silver. So we have gold half beaks back in stock. Peaceful community fish, just don't keep them with bigger fish or anything nippy because they don't get any bigger than that. Is that looks like we have, what is that? Another trophius? 
and another Trophius. So there are quite a few Trophius all throughout the boxes. Oh, we have Flying Foxes. So Siamese Flying Foxes, perfect algae eaters. Again, another really, really good fish if you've got a community tank. They do get quite big, like about that 12, 15 centimeter sort of size, which is pretty big fish. When they're small, perfect for sort of up to three foot tanks. When they're bigger, you want a four foot or bigger for them. Schooling, so have a group of them. Perfect little algae eaters, one of the best ones. Ah, bumblebee gobies. It looks like Burmese bumblebee gobies. So not your normal everyday stripy ones. These are more of a spotted pattern. Live food, a little bit of salt in the water. They are technically brackish. If you don't have salt in the water, just have them slightly higher pH. A little bit hard to keep them in community tanks because they need live food. They will eat frozen bloodworms, but it had to sort of drift down where their little mouths are. And in a normal community tank, all the other fish just swoop in. So a little bit specialized, but very, very cool. Oh, everyone's favorite. Huh? Honey dwarf grammy. Honey dwarf grammys. Peaceful, small, very cool. Honey colored, hence the name. Dwarf because they stay small. Garami because they're a garami. <laughs> Honey Dwarf Garami. They actually got the name right on those ones. Well done, whoever named them. Look at them. They are black coolie loaches. Very wiggly, very cool. Look at them. A little bit bigger than a normal coolie loach. They are a different species, but everything is the same. Super peaceful. Keep a group of them. If you keep these with the other ones, have a group of each because it's kind of sad to just have one of each type. Try and get three or four of each type and they'll have a little tiny pack of wiggly worms in the bottom of your tank. Very nice fish. Ah, more cool fish. So we have longfin albino and longfin calico and maybe some longfin common bristlenose. So a bit of a mixture of longfins in there. Perfect algae eaters. So they are one of the better algae eating catfish that you can get. Get a decent size, like maybe 10 centimeters on the body, and these ones have almost 10 centimeter tail, so they look a lot bigger than a normal bristle nose, but the body is the same size, it's just the fins are a lot bigger again, and as they mature, they get longer and longer fins. But they're a really, really nice catfish if you want something to eat algae that's got big flowing fins to them. Rah! Otto Sinkless catfish. Heaps of Otto Sinkless catfish. Good. We just lucked out that they had good ones this time, but yes, we have Ottos in. They all look pretty good. Nothing dodgy in the bag, which is great because see, sometimes these guys don't travel well, so they'll be ready for sale in a couple of days. But by the time you see this video, they'll all be settled in and happy. So Ottos back in stock. And if you don't know what an Otto is, it's a small South American catfish. Like to be in a group, peaceful, very cool for community and nano tanks. So anything small, they will be happy dwarf garamis. So I think these are like might be a, a peacock or a neon blue dwarf garami. There are so many different names of these guys now, but they are a line bred color of a normal dwarf garami. Super peaceful. They are all boys. The females are kind of a brownie bluey color. So that's why we've mostly got those. And we have more flying fox. And I think that is box number four. I was going to show you box number five, but it's too awesome. I'm taking that home. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? So that was those boxes. Now we're going to jump to the future where we have more boxes. Rah! And I am back. It is the future now. Well, technically it's the past because you're watching this in the future future. But this is my future. Ah, we have another box. Different wholesaler. Let's get started with those. They look like they're black and white samurai better fish. Males and females people chasing those not many better fish in this shipment but those are one of them obviously <laughs> we have a few more that is a giant male koi better that is pretty awesome i'm looking at them for the first time and that is a female usually we get quite a few of these but we only managed to get one pair this time because most of the other ones weren't that pretty and they only send us really nice pretty ones so in the bag that looks pretty awesome to me pretty 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 can I say pretty any more times? Pretty much can. Pretty much did. We have black neon tetras. Again, South American tetra. Not really related to the neon tetras. Don't know why they call them black neon tetras, apart from a black stripe and a 
lime green stripe with red eyes. So they are a pretty little tetra. Get a little bit bigger than a normal neon in that. It's kind of related, kind of not. We have sparkling gouramis, Southeast Asian fish. Very small, very sparkly, sparkling gouramis. They will eat things like shrimp and that. They hunt them down. So try not to keep them in shrimp, but they're perfect in little nano tanks with other little nano fish. Another bag there. We're jumping all over the place. We have barramundi. Four to six foot they grow. They are huge. They do like it warm. You can kind of keep them at 20 degrees in winter, but they want it up to 30. So they're not really great for ponds and stuff down here, unless it's heated. Very cool fish though. They grow fast, like 30, 40 centimeters in the first six to eight months if you let them, and they just get bigger again. So barramundi back in stock. Looks like we have mystery snails. So there is a bag of mystery snails. And it looks like we have a whole lot of African cichlids. They are Malawi cichlids, looks like electric blues, I'm pretty sure. So we have electric blue cichlids back in stock. They probably should call them electric browns when they're small, but they go blue when they're bigger, the males do, and the females stay brown. But if you have a few females with the males, the males will color up and display them a lot better than if you just had the males. We have a murky bag, but it looks like we have some sort of peacock. Maybe Jacob fried burgies in there. There is someone screaming at the door. That's wonderful. Looks like we have a couple more bags of cichlids. So more Malawi cichlids. So some sort of Alunacara, which is a peacock. More Alunacara, so another type of peacock. And we may have another bag. More peacocks. Looks like lots of peacocks. And one of the last bags, oh, how nice are they? They are nice. These are albino, I always forget the name. What are they called? They're albino cherry barbs. That is not color fed. Look at the males in there. They glow orange. So the albino gene doesn't get rid of all the color. Like a lot of people think that just be white. The albino gene gets rid of all the browns and sort of the dirty colors, browns and blacks and greys and stuff like that so you end up with that which are pretty awesome so nice peaceful schooling fish keep a little group of them together they're fine in community tanks of neons and so on and so on they're really nice i did breed these months ago i've kept all the babies <laughs> they're almost this size now i know what what can i do i know i know yes and i think that may be the last of what's in there. More Malawis. Yep. Lots of Malawi cichlids in that lot. And if you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up so I know, because a lot of people don't. And then I don't know if you want to see another video. It's important stuff. If you've made it this far, click the thumbs up. Thank you very much. We will see you in the next video. Oh, and if I grab you like that, we've got some giant ponds in today. There's one there. And, oh, I'm walking backwards. This is dangerous. There's one there. Huge big fiberglass ponds, lots of other stuff, whatever they are, Awazi crystal skim things. You'll see those eventually. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye.